O oh, seven starry citizens. X Wings X speaking. Ship review on the Anvil Terrapin. It's a medium heavy armored reconnaissance and scanning exploration ship. It's heavy armored, it's heavy and has a big signature so you're easy to spot and to find. It has a VTL mode and it flies a bit like it looks like but I really like that ship. Until now there might was not as much use for this ship but with the upcoming Pyro update, exploration and data haste. This is most likely a very good to play your ship. When we come to the interior, it's super simply made. We have this chair in the back center where all the scanning is happening. So there's no remote turret, it's all happening from inside. You have gun racks for four guns and six secondary guns and a bed for one person to be able to log out in it a side door on the side, a side door on the side, and that's how the substortion support station is going to look like. A side that you can do use all the internal stuff like weapons, um, energy, and any different things as soon as this support boat is actually set up and fully usable in game. There is the scanner that you can utilize here and scan stuff. Again, a thing that is not yet fully operatable. The ship can do it, but it's not fully implemented in the ship, so there is not too much to show, but for future gameplay, this will be very versatile and useful. And as we step out of the ship, we see the thrusters on the side with a heavy VTOL mode as well. We have the two Badger guns in the front and there are no missiles equipped on the ship, just this heavy armor plating. So for combat or self-defense with only two Badger, mm, bring an escort, bring a good escort while you do your reconnaissance and seeing what's needed. The original purpose for as well being rescue ship, I would say is pretty much overhauled by the Cuddy Red or the Apollo versions that will come in very soon. Alright, as I said, there is a VTOL mode, vertical transport and landing, a nicely animated moving of those thrusters that we just can experience in a second, which helps you take off and land. And of course, there are more specs that we actually would like to take care of. It's 19.5 meter long, 40.5 meter as the beam, a height of 6 meter. Most of its, its size is considered small. The mass is about 86,454 kilograms. There is zero cargo capacity. The SCM speed is 210 meters per second. And as you are seeing, the atmospheric flight is hardly it's somewhere around 170 meters per second. After burner speed outside of atmosphere is 1205. Minimal crew is one person and you can have an additional person running your scanner in the back. Pitch and yaw is 75 degrees per second. The roll maximum is 100 degrees per second. The axe acceleration is 51.9 meters per second and the y-axis acceleration is 65.7 meters per second and the z-axis acceleration is 58.1 seconds per x um, acceleration. Zero to max in 28.56 seconds and the max to zero, max to zero it's 48.86, uh, 48.07 <laughs> seconds. So it takes quite a while from max speed to break down so as usual make sure not to aim on a station when you try to reach it it has a lot of fuel and this is a really good thing so it's really a lot of hydrogen fuel more than 1 million and almost um, 950 quantum fuel so this is really good to have 2.5 million AUAC and the pledge price of 220 bucks it's sold at Astro Armada so it is a ship for that will for upcoming updates 
will be useful. Um, I like to fly it. Um, it has a very own style and own sense and with its carabias like look it is it is something really special. I I I like it. So this was a little bit of an introduction and a review for this Anvil Terrapin. I hope it was helpful. If you have questions or comments, please add it down in the comment section and like and subscribe. I look forward to the next ships, the new ships that are coming with EAI from the 17th to the 30th of November, 07 citizens.